If you were to guess how many car break-ins have been reported in Charlotte in the past six months, what would you say? Hundreds, maybe? A thousand? Well, how about 4,816 okay. to be exact. That's how many car break-ins CMPD has already seen this year. And get this, police say these crooks are traveling in groups and they're recruiting children. Since January, around 20 kids have been arrested for breaking into vehicles. Only on NBC Charlotte, Defender Savannah Levin speaks with police and reformed criminals to show us everything you need to know. These statistics that CMPD gave me are pretty shocking. It shows that we're averaging about 800 car break-ins every single month. Criminals are very smart. It's not something Charlotte Police Captain Brian Sanders wants to admit. They know where to go and where not to. But he says criminals targeting cars. Just like we are good as professionals at what we do, they get very good at what they do. Are out in full force. CMPD helped us crunch the numbers. So far in 2019, the University City Division has had the most car break-ins, 634. Second to that, Steel Creek with 559. The North Division coming in third highest with 421. Car thieving was pretty easy. Steve Severton spent 11 years behind bars for breaking into and stealing cars. Mr. Severton, you're aware those rights apply to you. His meth addiction fueling his crime life. Now reformed, he's showing us what criminals look for. We would fill a car up, a five-seat vehicle with four people with a four or five hour window. He says things like NRA or hunting stickers usually mean guns. Those cute stick figure families could mean kids electronics. He also suggests taking everything out of your car because for an addict, the bar for what's valuable is pretty low. If I'm hard up enough and I've walked by six cars with change, I know I got 20 bucks. Into it. Police know these criminals are skilled in picking cars that are likely to have valuables inside. In the interviews that we've done over the years, they have been dead on accurate. As for the where? It's the apartment complex that is the hardest hit for us. The when? You would think would be overnight, but we've watched them break in the middle of the day. And the who? Groups will come together, four or five, sometimes up to ten, and, and that's what they do. Captain Sanders says his team just arrested this group he believes could be linked to dozens of break-ins in the Steel Creek area. The suspects include several minors as young as 15. These older guys will grab a hold of the younger ones and get them to do their, their crime for them. CMPD vowing to not let this crime trend continue. Even though car break-ins are up 3% from this time last year, there have also been 20% more arrests. Now, when we say hide everything, seriously everything, police say even having a phone charger in your car that's tucked away could lead a criminal to think that there's a phone attached and break in. Of course, always lock up as well. And if you want to see the stats from your neighborhood, head to WCNC.com. Reporting for NBC Charlotte, I'm Savannah Levins. I'll send it back to you.